expecting rain. A little more moisture in the atmosphere, but not quite sufficient for any kind of rain chances. That changes just a teeny tiny bit tomorrow because we'll have more of an east to southeast wind pattern that's going to shape up. And that east flow comes off the Atlantic, so that could maybe favor the first coast area for more abundant scattered showers. But on that east flow, they could be shoved a little farther to the west, which means our western or eastern communities along the Suwannee River, you can maybe encounter a brief sprinkle or shower. Best chances would be after midday, but the rest of us will encounter a general blend of clouds and sunshine. Doesn't mean it'll just be dim all day, but you'll still have a few breaks of brighter sunlight. But with the extra moisture flowing in, expect those clouds to be a more prevailing profile in our overall weather features in the next couple days. Then we throw in the front that's going to start to move through the southeast. Some of the latest projections still kind of waffling in between a stalling front in our western areas by Saturday or maybe one that just pushes just far enough to the southeast to allow a broader spread of rain. So there's still going to be some sway in the overall setup for your New Year's Day and even New Year's Eve for that matter. There's still going to be a chance for some scattered showers during the day on New Year's Eve with warm temperatures around midnight. I do think there could still be at least a couple spot showers. I wouldn't necessarily cancel any plans that you have, but just be aware of the possibility maybe more focused on Friday with the broader stretch of rain and a couple of stronger storms that can be in the mix. So just keep those in mind. Still a couple days off, but it does appear that we do have a rainier time to go into the brand new year ahead of us. Morning lows, as mentioned, upper 40s to around 50 degrees. That's above average. Average low is 39, believe it or not, for Tallahassee. Right, the coldest, lowest average uh, of the year. For highs tomorrow, getting back into the upper 60s, South Georgia, around 70 state line. And then in the southeast Big Bend, maybe some mid 70s could be achieved as that warmer trend tries to take hold for a couple days. East to southeast winds for boaters. Wind speeds increasing through tomorrow afternoon. Small craft advisors are up for offshore waters and west of the Oklahoma River near the coast. The warmth will be broken once we start to get rid of the rain activity. And again, keep in mind there is a minor chance for a couple stronger storms on Friday. We'll be refining that expectation in the next couple days. Scattered showers still around through the weekend starting to clear out by Sunday. Warm in the short term, cooler by early next week.